Who's back, motherfuckers? Guess who's back? It's me. It's me. It's that V E R G. What's up? I said, What's up? We're back for some more Umineko. Hell. Yes. 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 Hell. Yes. Hell. Yes. Hell. With that Trigun OST. What's up, y'all? How we doing? Happy weekend. Happy weekend, guys. So, uh, this is gonna be a short stream. Uh, motherfucker has gotta work tomorrow, so. <laughs> We're gonna be doing, like, maybe two hours, max. For two hours, I gotta quit. I gotta stop. So. Don't expect too much more than two hours tonight. But I had the itch that I had to scratch. That itch is telling me to play some Umineko tonight. For y'all bitches. So, <laughs> for y'all bitches. Let's go. Let's get it going. How are we doing, guys? Yeah. I... Hopefully, You're feeling as fine as I am tonight, and it's a uh, wonderful, wonderful soundtrack from Trigun, the anime. Um, dude, this this is the anime that got me into Japanese culture in general. So I mean. Very apropos. I'm playing this soundtrack tonight. Without this soundtrack, man, without this fucking anime, I would not be playing this game right now, probably. Like, before Cowboy Bebop, man, I, I watched Trigun on Cartoon Network and got hooked on anime. This fucking bad shoot the Stampedo, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to kill people, but he's a fucking gunslinger, dude. The best gunslinger in the West, right? Fucking red ass jacket and shit. And uh, it just fucking got me hooked, dude, on anime in general. Like, oh shit, this is fucking anime? What else is anime? And then, you know, watching Naruto, watching fucking One Piece, fucking Bleach, dude, right? All that shit, dude. It just got me into fucking everything. Got Hack Sign, fuck. My first enemies. Uh, goddamn, uh, Fully Cooly. Right? FLCL, whatever you want to call it. Shit. Eureka 7? Come on, guys. I'll name it off. Wolf's Rain, I'll name them off all day long, dude. Samurai Shampoo, let's go. I can keep going, dude. I can keep going all night. That'll stop. That'll stop now. Pick Rashi no Korea. I'll stop. I'll stop. Let's play some, uh, the sequel to Hugarashi. Umineko. That's nice, please, in the background. This is nice, guys. See? Knives. From Target. Oh. Go! Hose! He's either saying hose or go. I'm not sure. Let's, let's go back, let's go back. Is he saying hose or go? Let's see. Let's, let's see. This is Knives. Ho! ho! He's saying ho! This is Knives, brother. He's saying ho. You heard it. You heard it. Let's go back. One more time. Ho! ho! See? Ho! ho! I heard an H. Did you? I know you did. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to the fucking game. I don't got this. I don't got time to fucking play around. Sorry, guys. Let's go. He fucking said ho, dude. He fucking straight up said ho. Hoes! He's dirty. Hoes! Let's 
Let's play. Umineko. Let's ride to the sunset here, guys. Literally, because I'm I'm uh, riding this fucking stream up to the fucking sun up. Then I gotta fucking go to sleep for at least like my like, three hours at least, so I can wake up for work basically. That's that's what's gonna happen tonight. In the meantime, in the, in the between time, I'm drinking some Heineken. So. Thank you, Ronove. Ronove! Romiero san! Ole. Thank you, Suneo Imohori, for that great OST. We're done with that shit now. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's play some fucking games, though. Right? Let's go. We're on episode three, guys. Remember last time we were talking with uh, with the old uh, Obachan right here, Gumasawa, and uh, she had some force field going on, some force field action that we were not aware of. She didn't, we didn't know she had some magic powers. <laughs> now she's laughing like she's fucking. You know, you just got the glowing. You don't want to mess with the glowing, guys. So, just letting you know. You don't want to mess with the glowing. Like these naughty girls. Well, fuck. I'm gonna have to like pick a voice for Kumisawa now, right? If she does any internal dialogue, let's see. We'll, we'll get to that fucking bridge when we pass it, I guess. It's old hag. Yeah, they don't they don't know what the fuck's going on here. I like the viewer. Why is Kumisawa doing magical shit, right? Like Shannon can do it, right? She's a young you know, piece of furniture, Kinzo made, I guess. She's got magical barrier powers, but fucking Kumasawa is fucking repelling these bitches left and right. Who I? Who I? She's fucking all ice cold about it, too. Look at that shit. Like, can't touch this. Look at that shit. I'm laughing about it. Move your ass. Nando Yatemo Mudada. Kono Gosin. She's good. She's the best. But she was a no coma at the Iduno. This do Kayon de Kiteva, Crema Sank. Oh, she's called now Beatrice. Shit. Kumasawa, shit. You can't touch this bitch. Hey. Get, get your ass out here, Beatrice. Get your ass out here, Beato. She's ready for your ass. Square up on your ass. Oh shit. You got Rono Bay over here too. I say god damn. Oh, she knows him. What? What the fuck is going on here, dude? Hold up, dude. Is Chio fucking low key fucking ultra instincting over here? The hell is going on? Got this shit. Dude, she forgot more shit than Ronobe knows. That's what she's saying. He's like, fuck that Sama shit, bitch! Oh, yeah. 
Beatrice. God damn. No Sama. I didn't see Sama on that shit. <laughs> Hell. No. Ain't no Samas here tonight on this fucking moonlit night, girl. This is the fucking Kumasawa Ho. What? Oh, that's right, that's right, okay. So Kumasawa is like the analog for, uh, well, you, you'll, you'll know her name. She's not Beatrice anymore, but she was first Beatrice. They're gonna explain this shit. That's right. Listen up, bitch. Remember that, uh, the gray haired, uh, witch that we saw that was called Beatrice when episode 3 started? Apparently, Kumasawa in the meta world is that witch. And in the real world, it's Kumasawa, but meta world, it's, you know, the, the gray-haired lady. Uh, I'm gonna have to, like, pick her voice now, because this is Kumasawa talking. Uh, let's see. Dude, uh, I'm thinking I'm getting a, uh, a Golden Girls vibe, right? She's definitely Golden Girl. Uh, Sophia. She, yeah, she's Sophia. Which makes perfect sense because Beatrice is Italian. Sophia's Italian, right? You guys don't know about Golden... You know what? Let me, let me, uh... Hold up. I'm gonna give you guys the audio cue here for Sophia. Second here. So Sophia is um is Dorothy's mother in Golden Girls. This is a sitcom, guys. American sitcom back in what the eighties, nineties. About ostensibly about three uh, older, like over fifty women. But then there's a fourth over, I would say, what, 70 women, who is the mother of one of the over 50 women. Dorothy, the main woman, I would say. So Sophia is the mother of these golden girls, basically. So she's the golden, golden, she's the platinum girl, basically. <laughs> and this is the girl I'm going to base Kumasawa on. Uh, fucking has the most bitter tongue in the world basically she's Sophie's the best character in the world basically uh, anything you say to Sophia she has like a retort fucking snarky comment listen to this shit dude I found a good video it's gonna explain this shit hold on let's, uh, let's turn out turn on this shit real quick I'm gonna turn on the game volume real quick just like I did with Gota back in the day Eddie Haskell. We're gonna turn down, uh, turn down this shit a little bit. You guys can hear Sophia's fucking great dialogue, basically. And I want to like kind of emulate my my Kumasawa voice off of Sophia here. Good music, by the way, though. Alright, so this is, uh, this is Sophia. You put your makeup on with a butter knife, doesn't make you Tommy Baker. The butter knife? I know if you got to know me, She got that Italian me. fucking twang. Why? I got to know you. I don't like you. I don't like you? You just say that. Repeatedly. <laughs> I thought I felt my ears burning. Maybe that cheap toupee you're wearing retains heat. That cheap toupee? <laughs> oh, please. Everybody says what oh, he's fucking burns, dude. Savage burns. She's talking about when you're in an upright position. <laughs> Oh, you're too shit. competitive. It's always been your worst feature. Actually, Chicha. your ears are your worst feature. <laughs> your Arrested ears? For prostitution. I can't believe it. Sophia, we're innocent. I know that. I can't believe these dumb cops would think anyone would pay money to sleep with you. Oh, shit. 
When I was a girl, once I had a terrible thunderstorm. Excuse me, Rose. Have I given you any indication at all that I care? I don't care, bitch. Rose Nyland? No one. If I start acting like her, pull the plug. I'm sorry, Ma. I can't help it. Hey, I could live with the tossing and turning. Your cold feet are what's driving me crazy. It's like having two size nine fudgicles pressed up against my butt. Goodness. Yeah, she's fucking savage. All right. I think we got enough to go on. Hey, <laughs> little Paul's the jeweler was Jewish. Jeweler? Jewish? I wonder if there's a connection. Estelle fucking, I what's her name? Estelle something. Getty. So Getty. <laughs> I think you haven't cried because you haven't accepted his death yet. Thank you. I've never been psychoanalyzed by a dipstick before. Oh! But do I look like a mother? <laughs> Are you kidding? From the side, you look like you're about to drop twins. <laughs> Take very good care of myself. I treat my body like a temple. Yeah, it opens everyone. Day or night. Day! Okay. <laughs> we got enough. We got enough material here. That's what I'm talking about, dude. You better watch that fucking show if you haven't watched that shit before. I say, you better watch some motherfucking show. Good show. Good show. But that's Kumasawa now. Uh, Still get his, aka Sofia. Sofia Petroni, whatever, Petrelli, sorry. The Italian name they got for Sofia in the show. She had that Italian uh, gangster mother fucking accent, so that's what we're gonna give Kumasawa here. Go butterflies appeared in ones and twos from the garden for roses and began to gather around me. Kumasawa. That's my, that's my name, bitch. Then after I was wrapped in golden sparkle, I burst and disappeared. My form was no longer there. Not there, but there. The big D. You remember her, right? That's the girl we saw in the very beginning of this episode. That's also Kumasawa. That's her other form. Apparently. Apparently. So. Instead, there was another golden witch. The one who once taught the path of the Endless Witch to Beatrice. Now, uh, it's very, um, I want to say this kind of quickly because I'm, like I said, I'm trying to get through this shit in two hours as far as I can. But it's very telling that uh, Kumasawa, a servant, is the person that's chosen to be this uh, this other personality of the witch. Why would that be, right? You should ask yourself that. Why is Kumasawa the original Beatrice? Remember, Kumasawa tells a lot of stories and shit. Blah blah blah. She's uh, she's a friend, quote unquote, of all the younger servants. Like Shannon and Cannon. Why would she be Beatrice? Seems like, right? They're saying that she was the original Beatrice. So what what does that mean to you guys? I'm not gonna spell it out for you, but you should draw your own conclusions at least. That's all I'm gonna say right now. The only person that Beatrice ever called teacher. Her hair was long, beautiful, and vividly beautiful. The figure in the elegant dress couldn't possibly have been mistaken for an old lady. No, this was looked like an, this is looking like a completely different person to Kumasawa. Help. Yes. <laughs> That fucking tilted cap? She's a gangster, man, you can tell. Gangster. I'm at the teach your ass again, bitch. Taught your ass once, I taught your ass twice, I taught your ass two times total. 
、私たちの天敵じゃありませんか。それから逃れるための、ちょっとしたスパイスに過ぎませんよ。どうスパイスさ。うぅ。侵食が進めば進むほどに、わらわの力は強くなり、わらわの眷属は呼び出しやすくなる。しかし、それは同時に、お師匠様の封印を解くことにもつながったとはなあ。あ、uh, uh, one more thing. So she's calling. She's directly calling Kumasawa her teacher. And this is、uh, if you don't believe in magic, right? So if you don't believe in magic, she's talking directly to Kumasawa. Whoever the person is dressing up as Beatrice is. Whoever that is, right? She's talking to Kumasawa. Because Kumasawa was there a second ago, and now Kumasawa is gone. Looking at old Beatrice, basically. And new Beatrice is calling her teacher. So, draw your own conclusions again. I'm not going to spell it out.、Uh, I can definitely spell it out easily, and like, I basically spelled it out without connecting the dots for you. Like, I gave you. I've set up 2 plus 2 equals, and I didn't say what 2 plus 2 equals, basically. I'm not gonna call it out and say 4. The answer is 4, right, guys? Are you getting this? Are you getting what I'm putting down here? So, old Beatrice is Kumasawa. New Beatrice is calling Kumasawa teacher. What does that mean? Right? That's all I'm gonna say here. I'll say it again. Kumasawa is her teacher. So, who is new Beatrice, right? Who is that? Ask yourself that. Let's go! Let's go! I pull up! I pull up! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's It's very sad. I pull up. Let's go. They don't have to step back here. Young Banks. She's like three times is too many. I don't told you twice. I won't tell you the third time. Y'all just gonna die. Exactly. Run away and the sisters, the servants of Purgatory retreated. Before I busted them in the ass. My fucking tilted cap. After all that, what remained was the Beatrice whose daring expression didn't falter. And the teacher, me, who had given up the name and wore a composed smile. Well, I'm gonna stick my fucking stilettos up her fucking asshole right now. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, you didn't know, bitch. I mean, I better call somebody. This reunion was longer in coming than the visit of a comet. Oops. Hey, you know what? Let me go to the system real quick because we didn't see the people who died updated in this fucking menu here. Let's go. Let's see if they updated here. Nope, they're still alive.、Uh, we'll check that later. <laughs> That's right, bitch. And you didn't pay your fees tonight. So your ass is gonna be grass. And I'm gonna smoke it. Smoke your ass down. 
こうしあなたの弟子がどれほど立派になったかそしてとっくの昔にどれほどあなたを凌駕したかとくとご覧に入れましょう The air between the two Beatrices seemed to explode with sparks. I'm about to explode my fist up her ass real quick. Just by glaring at each other, they purged all spirits in that space. As they watched, the seven sisters shivered. After all, they'd retreated just three steps less than they had, they would have already been turned to dust by now. So, I can't step to this shit. You know that? Beatrice. あなたにその名を譲ったことが私の生涯でただ一度の後悔ですその過ちを今自らの手で修正しましょう<笑>バララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララ This is not, this is Beatrice. Other lady is fucking Sophia. Warawa no tada ichido no ayamachi wa. Kono teedo no chikara o manabu no ni. Anta ni deshiri hichimatta koto da ze. Nani ga mugen no majo da. Konna no kizuku dake no chikara ja ne ka yo. You dirty hoe! Put some respect on her name. Put some more respect on Sophia's name, bitch! Let's go. What? I'm about to beat that respect into your ass tonight. Here we go. Here we go. A little magical battle here, guys. Look at her smiling that shit. I can't believe it. Battle is fucking lost. Just sit back and relax and enjoy the show, dog. It's not gonna happen tonight. It's not gonna. You're gonna make any sense of this shit tonight. I'm not even gonna give him any fucking logical fucking extrapolations on this shit. There's no, there's nothing you can say, right? There really is nothing you can say. Certain points in this game, there's nothing but magical shit that's gonna happen that Battle could not explain at all. So, this is one of those times. Like, there's no way he's gonna make any sense of this shit. So, you shouldn't even try, basically. That's gonna fucking confuse him, and it's gonna make him pretty much checkmate himself if he tries to make sense of this shit. So, you should not even try. It's just pure magic, right? If you don't believe in magic, this shit's not happening at all, ever. So, he, he should, like, pretend it doesn't exist. He should ignore it 100%, but. Obviously, he's not doing that. He's, you know, paying a lot of attention to it, which is a bad move. So, battler, don't be a dumbass. Stop looking at this shit. It's not happening, right? Close your eyes. These guys are closed. This is why she kind of gave him kind of a lot of good advice earlier on. So now he doesn't want to ignore what she's doing now against Beatrice because you know she's positioning herself against Beatrice now. This uh, lady in gray hair. So now he he really can't ignore what she's doing now. And this is all pure magic, basically. So uh, it was kind of a trap, basically, for her to give him good advice and shit. He needs to fucking ignore all this shit that's happening because it's not real. Such a nice guy. He doesn't. He doesn't realize that though. Kumasano Baje. So what's the kuma meicha ni pakeren da? Suka. Anta tar da yo. Waki ga wakarane. Kumasawa, idiot. 
You said it. Nando to asatsu nan da. Ore wa atama ga dou ni ka natchi wa isou da. Watashi wa ano ko no madou ni shishou desu. Masawa is the witch teacher of that child. That's what she's saying. Katsu mina wa rea sugi. Ano ko wa watashi wa tsuru toki ni sono no wo okutsu ka ne. Ima ga nao mochimasu. あんたがすでに言い切っちまってるが俺はあんたの弟子のせいで大いに迷惑しているぜ頼むから責任取って何とかしてくれ This is why Battler's gonna pay attention to this because he wants her to do something he is Beatrice Mistake じゃなくて俺はこんなの信じる Yeah, yeah you don't, you don't asshole You should not fucking pay attention to it Too late now 魔女も魔法もあるもんか That's what she should be thinking, right? Right there. Anatarashi, to be more tanky na mote nashi desu. Shoulder War Tower. Baboom! 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 In response to Beatrice's summons, a terrific earth tremor split the rose garden. And on either side of their shoulders, two massive war towers sprouted and stabbed into the heavens. They stretched out the 100 Maru Tau, and each had over 360 pulse. They were war towers of the gods' army corps, which had been prevented even groups of ancient heroes from invading their sacred grounds. Beatrice elegantly floated in the gap between the massive two headed towers. She looked down on the teacher's near and with a sense of absolute superiority. The two massive towers lined up behind the shoulders. The witch looked very small, like a butterfly dancing between huge trees. Over 720 ports opened up on the towers and godly towers, godly soldiers ready their multi-shot ballistas. Pew 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 pew. No, she's not even sweating that shit. Well, remember, uh, she said there's two Alistas, right? There's two towers up. At least that's what Beatrice is saying. Remember that. The Belisa shots that numbered over a thousand were all fired at once round a beautiful geometric curtain of death. The boorish sound as the bow strings were played is probably even deeper than that of the reaper swinging his surf, his cycle. Sickle, sorry, sickle. Cycle? The Fallen Tower? Okay. The sky was stained in incandescent red, and from between the clouds, a blazing massive tower fell upside down. That massive fallen tower and its rubble sucked in the thousands of ballista shots so that not one of them approached the body of the witch who had summoned it. We got a counter spell called the, fa the Fallen Tower. This drew all the fucking ballista shots away from her. 
That's right, no group of people, no matter how large, could oppose the mystery, the mystery, mysteries of heaven. That was the reality of the fallen tower. Oh, the Tower of Babel? Nice. Okay. the massive crimson tower that had fallen made a terrible gold color explosion, a massive spear appeared from the inside those flames so tall like a tower that you had to look up to see all of it. It was too large for even a giant's head. That divinely beautiful sphere of the gods is so massive, they get the illusion that the fallen tower is turned to a sphere of the same size. The sphere is set in victory that none can escape. Forget about it! When she snaps the fingers in command, the massive tower sized spear shot at Beatrice like a lightning bolt. It aimed right for the middle of the center of the Golden Witch's heart with extreme precision. As she danced in the gap between the towers like a butterfly, slicing straight through the air like a flash of lightning. Like a cheap ass woozy flash of lightning. He's an Odin spear. Holy shit. You can't, you can't block a divine spear. What the fuck? Let's see. Shoulders war towers exploding in gold. They became several billion gold butterflies. This butterfly took the shape of uh, of seven massive armored soldiers. Only seven? Really? He stretched a full 50 in the route into the sky. And they lined up in front of Beatrice, protecting the master and holding massive shields that powered like windmills. Uh, okay, okay. Seven of those guys? Okay. Uh, I see you Beatrice, I see you. They were as massive as the mountain range. The witch behind them was like a small moon hiding behind the mountains. Once in the past, the massive shields these giants held had been ready by the whole regiment. They had protected King Wil Wilhelm's castle not only from arrows but from the wind and the rain. But when they had faced up with and held their shields to the heavens not a single range drop had gotten through. ほら。神聖への山を渡すと魔女は神の槍を巨人ごときで防げると思いですか。ゾウリです。人間の金属でいくら武装しようと神の槍を防げます。まだまだ見事なエコロットメイクです。それは、ペアトリーチャクだ。Oh, so Hephaestus, he's an ally of the humans, basically, in uh, Greek mythology, slash Roman mythology. He created fire to make the humans rival fucking the gods, basically. So, uh, once fire was created, humans didn't need gods anymore basically so that's pretty much how uh, humanity outgrew quote unquote the gods so uh and then they stopped you know worshiping the gods which gave the gods power so if you stop fucking worshiping and praying to the gods they no longer have power over the humans so Hephaestus was the fucking you know the impetus behind that shit so Beatrice using me uh, uh, it's Hephaestus in Greek, it's Hephaestus in Roman, I guess. But, uh, that's the dude that kind of like made humans more powerful than gods, basically. 
Definitely can block a god so uh spear. He he's also the god of fucking uh armor and shit. So that you know that's another another boon for like blocking shit, right? He's like the blacksmith of the gods. So ugly, so ugly, that he has to wear armor all the time basically. That's that's the god that he's talking about right now. The golden railway that rose at the feet of the giant soldiers. It was a cloud of countless butterflies. They attached themselves to the massive shields like gold leaf, sparkling like they were a gold mayor. It was the absolute defensive ball given to a goddess by the chief of the gods. The Aegis Shield! Again, this is the blacksmith of the gods, so the Aegis Shield is the most powerful shield ever made. When the Holy Spear was left a dignified tail behind it like a comet crashed into the mountain range of that gold shield, there was a terrible thunderous roar. It was the scraping of the pillars that held up the, roof, the heavens. The divine spear spun around and around and was sent flying in the direction of the setting sun. <laughs> fucking ricocheted off that motherfucking shield, baby. So that's a very important uh, line right there. Divine spear and, a and an absolute shield. Divine shield, divine spear. Must never fight one another. And this is uh, pretty much only pertaining exclusively to magic, but you can also apply this to other things in this game. So two things of equal power, two things on the same kind of level that are diametrically opposed. They go up against each other. They're gonna cancel each other out, right? So that's what they're saying here, and uh, it, it's common sense what I'm saying here, but keep this in mind. And that's all I'm gonna say here again. Uh, I wanna, I'm gonna kind of miss my words here so we can keep going on with the story, but. Things that are like diametrically close to sword or spear and the shield that are both divine. They're gonna cancel each other out. Obviously. Uh, just remember that. Remember that. <laughs> The giant soldier battle line, which has fully blocked the divine spear, released his gold holy shield. The shields fell to the ice, making the ground shake. Holy shit! When they did another gold whirlwind arose, the seven gold shields changed the form into seven massive spears of lightning flying to the ground. At once each of the giants lifted up their legs high and firmly stomped on the tips of the handles, diving into the ground. As the air shook with the thunderous roll, the seven lightning spears spun beautifully and flew up against above the giant's shoulders' heads. They scattered into a golden splash and began to fall before the giants. Each of the giants squared off, and with the force of their whole body, they kicked and smashed them. The broken pieces numbered exactly 30, and became lightning spears of exactly the same size as the originals. Which made 210 for the seven giants. All of those burst in once, each split into 30 thorns for a total of 6. 300. They came in barrage of thunderclouds drawn in a beautiful geometric pattern. And then each changed to three bolts of lightning so that 18,900 would send the both sides of his predecessor Beatrice. God damn. We're about to dance around this shit, don't worry.
that bundle of almost 20,000 Thunderbolts must have reduced the teacher's body in dust, but there has been no resistance. Beatrice knew immediately that she had been fooled. Uh oh. At that time, from the direction the sun had supposedly set, she felt the impossible rays of sunlight. A brilliant ray of light shone on the profile. It was the figure of a teacher holding aloft the spear of the gods that had supposed to have been repelled a short while ago. She bore a sparkle like the sun on her back and made it shine on the incarnation of darkness. As Beatrice watched, she was trapped in a mouse like a cage. Or trapped like a mouse in a cage. Cornered in a dead end formed by the giant soldier battle line. By now the predecessor Beatrice had seized the position directly alongside that line. The part is over! Beatrice! Ford expressing had to follow it even once, but now it quits it for the first time. Passing the Beatrice to click her tongue, the predecessor Beatrice released the Holy Spear. As it leapt through the air, changed the storm was small. So the Doberga. Who the hell is that? Oh, gnomes probably, right? By now it was no longer the spear but the whirlwind of a massive hammer that waves the sound like a windstorm as it flew through the air. It was like the legendary hammer that had shaken even the king of the cross giants. So the giant soldiers couldn't escape from that fear. So regardless of how strongly their master ordered them, they couldn't get in the path of that hammer. That empty hammer! Rest your ass my art, bitch. For the whirlwind of that massive chunk of metal, Beatrice was nothing more than a mere speck. Instead, the whirlwind started to suck Beatrice in, she feared to change to a massive bull talent. Dying yeah. him smashed the wall tower, scattering tremendous amounts of rubble. But it did not reach the she who had escaped behind it. Furthermore, when the smoke started to settle, the war tower had sunk in the mass behind him, and Rial crumbled in and blocked its way. Even the giant smashing iron hammer couldn't break through the final tower protecting the witch. However, this war tower was actually the witch's last jump card. It was a war tower for dodging that could only save her from danger once. This tower was impregnable. The weapon could break through it. At that time, the moon disappeared. Beatrice hid in the shadows of the giant soldier battle line. In the war tower, she looked up at the sky. When she did, inside the moon was the figure of a massive horse ridden by the god of war and death. Ares? The predecessor of Beatrice rode the horse with him. The squelk had blocked the moon and swallowed it with an eerie shadow. And the spear of the gods was in his hand with smoke. In other words, it was a godly knight who had jumped over the ramparts of the giant soldiers in the war tower, attacking from the heavens. So it would be Odin if you're in Norse mythology. Or it would be Ares in Greek mythology. Depends on which one they're talking about. Looks like Odin though. AKA Raiden. Struggle to the death between the two witches with the same name was over. Or was it? The spear that had been launched from the heavens pierced the ground. Whose spear was that? They both have them, remember? One of them had the spear of longinus. One of them.
them had the spear of uh, Odin, aka the uh, I forget the name of it. <laughs> but there was a there was another spear called Longinus, which was the spear that pierced Jesus Christ. So whoever won the fight just now had Longinus' spear. Who was that, by the way? Beatrice? Or the predecessor, Beatrice? Gee, I wonder. Wrapping the area in the gold color storm, the sound, the came, then came the sound of thunder and the sound of fall and random rain. Looked around, the rose garden was empty. Butler and the rest were watching two witches confronting each other. But Beatrice alone had changed. She even played straight through the spear. She even pierced straight through the spear. From the base of her neck and her right shoulder to her left buttocks. Unable to even <laughs> reach the ground with her feet. Damn. Horribly exposed like a pitiful pin and butterfly tormented by the wind and the rain. Damn, son. ベアトリッチ様。うん。そうそう。恐ろしいお方です。おっとくくむさわ。looks like。これで決着です。ベアトリッチ。She's Beatrice wore a bitter smile of fal a false carriage. What a strand of blood dangled from her mouth, making her look even more painful. Pitiful. So this is uh the old Beatrice talking, the predecessor Beatrice. She wants her all of her shit back. She wants all of her fucking powers back. Her fucking title of the endless witch back. From this fucking young upstart. You know, new Beatrice, aka the one that's torturing Badler. The one that just killed fucking six servants. Almost six. She's trying to kill the sixth right now in Kumasawa, but. Basically trying to fucking torment Badler with these six kills. Yeah, she's almost done. Six one is going to be to her teacher, it seems like. I don't know why she would do that. Maybe she'll tell us. Oh, okay, that's why. She was just fooling around. Okay, that makes sense, right? That's all good, man. Hey, you're forgiven. That's all good, Beatrice. Sitting there. Okay. Talk some shit. Talk that shit, girl. Okay. Beatrice The predecessor of Beatrice began to recite the words of power. When she did, small golden butterflies gathered near the skill with Beatrice and began to swarm around her. Over here, flowing around her like rancid meat. Cause these fucking flies want that fucking rancid meat, looks like. Like butterflies sucking the nectar out of the flowers. They begin to suck the magical power out of Beatrice. It seemed like to cause her intense pain. Cry anguish issued from Beatrice's, new Beatrice's mouth. She no longer had any power to resist it. さあ、さあ、目を閉じてごらんなさい。思い出してごらんなさい。あなたがどんな姿をしていたのか。さあ、ベアトリーチ。あなたも私と一緒に復唱なさい。一緒にお歌を歌いましょう。そうすれば、す
さあ、思い出してごらんなさい。それ、ナウ、リスンデス。イドゥバックインヨーフェイス。ネトゥオーデンビゲームトゥリサイトセイムソングモーモーゴーバタフライズダンスアラウンドソーメニーラウンドビー
お師匠様はのこのこと踏み越えてきてくれたチェックの発生が遅れてしまったことだけはマナー違反It was bad manners of me to say to check this late. I simply must apologize. <laughs> ha 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 ha. The battle had been decided at the very beginning. It had been over since the time the predecessor had, been, had leaned forward, readying her Holy Spirit to attack me, Beatrice, who had been wedged between her shoulder towers. My shoulder towers. I fucking now planned this bitch. The hidden towers lurking on each side bathed me in a windstorm of ballista shots from 720 ports on both sides. Pinning it and killing her. However, I hadn't wanted it to be resolved that way. I wanted it to let my teacher take her next move and had continued acting as though the game was still on. Even though I fucking killed her in the first shot. She had immediately revived her with the endless power. And had made her continue the game, but still nothing happened. So Beatrice fucking won and killed her. Uh, and without the, the teacher knowing what happened in that fucking first kind of like kill shot, one shot, I would say. She got revived by fucking Beatrice with the endless power. And she never even knew that she was uh, already dead, but she kept trying to fight Beatrice, basically. That's what happened here. So Kumusawa is pretty much already dead. Then the predecessor slowly remembered that she had already been killed and began to vanish completely. When did she... When, oh, sorry. When she did, the spear that appears Beatrice also vanished. This is fucking a fake spear. Made from a fucking dream. Beatrice finally landed on the ground. There wasn't even a trace of a scar. <laughs> it was a pretty easy victory. I mean, she's lying there. Well, that's what witches do. Witches lie. Witches be lying. I mean, if, if that was your teacher, teacher should have known better, right? Oh, you got two more towers? Fuck. That's something I didn't see coming, really? She taught you all her moves and shit? And she didn't see that coming? That's bad teacher. Sorry. You should never lose against her students. Never. Yeah, you don't feel sorry about that shit. The teacher just fucking forgot. Or the teacher wasn't good to begin with. And this fucking girl taught herself her shit. Kashikomarimashita. <laughs> こよいの第一の晩は少々肌付けも必要でしょう。すぐに取り掛かります。ベンレシボ。Go boy attendants had appeared one after another. One by one, the go boys stood, wordlessly stood at attention in the line behind Ronove's back.
わらわは今それを考える気分にないロノウェに任すバトラーを悩ませるようなとびっきりの密室を頼むぞ Yeah, this was a doozy of a fucking close fucking circle, murder. We already kind of know who out, whoever's died so far, which would be Kinzo, Shannon Cannon, Genji. We got、uh, Gota dead. We got maybe Kumasawa dead. So that's be. If Kumasawa is in fact dead, that's six. So. Probably all of them are dead. We haven't seen totally 100% them all either, so. Go down to hope if you want. <laughs> But looking, looking pretty bad. So, Batora, what do you do? Batora! Batora, what do you do? Mita! <laughs> You're not supposed to look at this shit, you idiot. That's your problem. You're thinking this shit is fucking real? It's not. He's not understanding there's a fucking unreliable narrator here. In every fucking scenario, <laughs> dumbass. I'm not Tokan Tokan. That, uh, what you saw is real? Deny that shit. Cause it's true. もうわかんねえ。前回もそうだが、このイカス的なマジカルバトルをどう否定すりゃいいんだよ。だよな。こんなの道まったらもう言い逃れはできねえもんな。そのバトラー、とんでも推理を聞かせてくれよ。ヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘヘ
お前こういうのダメだもんな、うん、こういうファンタジー本当は大好きなんだもんな<笑>知ってんだよ<笑>今時こんなの巷にいくらでも溢れてるじゃねえか漫画に小説アニメに映画10代くらいのガキンジョたちがおかしな特殊能力いっぱい持ってて世界の命運かけてドッカンバッカンやるやつ、うん、お前も大好きだもんな知ってんだよかっこいいじゃないのだそのお前の大好きなやつがちょいと目の前で披露されただけじゃねえかよどうして漫画やアニメのそれは信じてくれるのにわらわのだけ信じてくれねえんだよ信じろよ信じろよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じちまえよ信じYeah. Never once said I'm sorry. You can fucking suck this dick, you think I'm s o r r I'm feeling sorry for this shit. SMD! Beatrice Sama? Nope. Oh shit. We're going to the morning. Alright, so、uh, people are actually dead now. I'm checking my fucking system real quick. Things I load up. We're gonna load it up. Kick some gigabyte. We're gonna rip it up. Hero is always making the cut. Alright. We're gonna, we're gonna listen to whoever that is talking. But first, we're gonna go to the system. It's still alive. What the fuck is going on here? Live, alive, alive, alive. 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 What the fuck is this? They're all dead. They should be all dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. They should all be dead. You're not. Intriguing. Interessante. Well, let's, let's take a quick break though.、Uh, like I said, I'm going to be on two hours max, so I got another half hour here. And I got to go. Let me grab another p a n i k i n BRB, guys.
What's up, y'all? We're back. Yeah, quick, quick shout out. Let's see if it shit works. Uh, my friend Smirk Jerk. Quick shout out to her. She was online tonight playing Mord Hog. I want to see if my shit works here. I think I fixed the uh, the problem from last stream where it wouldn't play a video. Let's see. Sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, put it away. <laughs> How do you see that? Playing a you Yakuza <laughs> in this stream. <laughs> she has fun in her in her streams, looks like. Doesn't it? Having fun. That's that's the name of the game. You're a streamer, you should be having fun. It's not a job. It's you having fun playing games. God bless a smart jerk. And, uh, Hobo Tough Life. That's the last game that she was playing tonight, so. Kudos to her. Kudos to everybody having fun streaming, like me. Let's get it on. The rest of this game here. I got another 20 minutes here. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I don't even know who's talking here. There would have been no way to tell that morning had come without opening a window and looking up at the cloudy sky, which had become a tiny bit lighter. Who the fuck is talking here? Is that Eva? Maybe. It wasn't a refreshing morning. All that could be heard was the sound of the rain, which hadn't stopped falling since last night, and the howl of the wind. Oh, it's Kyrie. So this is actually the first time Rudolph and Kyrie survived the first Twilight. Usually they're always gonna get killed. So episode one, and episode two, they they always are first to die. For some reason, now they are still alive, and this is day two, first time ever, in this playthrough. May or may not be important. I'm just pointing it out. This is the second time Hideyoshi survived. Hideyoshi survived in episode one, past the first Twilight. Him and uh, Eva were still alive until uh, I believe it was the fifth Twilight when they both died. And they both died in their own fucking uh, closed room, locked, padlocked, closed room. Somehow they died, which. Uh, I know how they died, but we didn't actually uh, go over the shit, the particulars of episode one. But there, were, there was a trick involved in that that kill room, which I'm not gonna really tell you yet. I'll tell you all the shit that happens and all these question arcs when we get to the answer arcs, which isn't until episode five. So, guys, be patient. We'll get there. But uh. If you're, if you're curious about all the, the tricks, why all, all the magical kills happened the way they did, what actually happened in reality that wasn't involving magic, you're gonna have to wait or, or just get smart, get good, and figure it out yourself. Because that's, that's what this game is all about. Mystery fucking game. You have all the clues, you have all the puzzle pieces, you put that shit together yourself, or you wait for me to tell you how that shit went down. Cause I figured this shit out myself. I put the puzzle pieces together. It wasn't hard for me. How about you, right? <laughs> we got Hideyoshi talking here. Uh, Hideyoshi Santa Claus here. 
Ho ho ho! Waha! Talking, talking about rain or spears. How about snow? How about sleet? It's all coming down with a bang. <laughs> only yeah, only bad boys <laughs> come down with a bang. はあ。これで十分とちゃうか。あとは謎の19人目ベアトリーチが動いてこんことには。Though we already know there's no 19th person named Beatrice on this island. We've already heard and read there's only 18 or less people on this island from Beatrice herself. So he knows she's talking out of his ass. So not the fuck he's talking about. そういうことだ。だが、向こうが撃ってくるだろうほとんどの手は想定できたはずだ。そうね。兄弟の中に裏切り者さえ現れなければ、私たちは大抵の事態に対応できるはずよ。What <sighs> Didn't the young Eva say, oh, I'm going to solve this motherfucking shit and fuck these other guys? What happened to that shit? Now, why is he fucking around these fucking idiots, man? Leave them the fuck alone. Get your fucking money, girl. Get that money. Get your money. She's smart too. She's gonna get it. You gave her two fucking seconds. She's gonna get that shit. Oh, you distracted with some breakfast. I see what she's trying to do. Oh, here's some fucking eggs and waffles. Won't you eat this shit? Five minutes later. Oh, I got the fucking gold. <laughs> I got the gold, bitch. That's what Natsu's gonna do. Good plan, right? Kraus? A good plan. As they all stretched. They enjoyed this unrefreshing moment, or sorry, morning, as best they could. <sighs> you to wash your fucking arms, dude. Fucking musty ass bitch. Musty motherfucker. Oh, that's fucking your husband, girl. That's what that is. Your musty ass fucking husband. He's fucking deodorant, that's what he needs. As soon as they exited the corridor, Kirie openly made a disgusted expression because her stupid ass, smelly ass husband, Rudolph. Rudolph, the red nosed fucking musty ass bitch. What His fucking husband. I told you. Hmm? Mm hmm? Isn't it Rudolph? They need forget his old spice in the fucking ship. Naya kono nasty ass smell. Kora tamarande. Told you it's Rudolph. Why is Rudolph so silent? He's not saying shit, right? He knows it's him. He can't smell it because it's him. He's gonna be like, oh, he who smelt it dealt it. No, it's not. It's the he who doesn't smell it. It's the fucking culprit. That's what that's the way the fucking saying goes. He who does not smell it, culprit. Always. Because you can't smell your own you, you can smell your own forest, but you don't think shit. The shit stinks. So Rudolph's not saying shit. He fucking he's he's got the BO. He's got fucking bad body odor. He's the fucking culprit. Come on now. Easy. After hearing those complaints, everyone stuck their heads out into the corridor. The stench was faint, but once people started commenting on it, it was clearly noticeable. It was all Rudolph. Each of them went to the corridor, relying on their own sense of smell to tell them where this strange odor was coming from. Rudolph. Rudolph. もう使用に室に来ていて朝の準備をしているはずです。ブラフ。うん。頼む。まさかあの豪太に限ってこんな匂いをさせる朝食を作っているとは思いがたいのだがね。I got it make that. Ruda baby. Let's go. Let's go.
and determined that it was coming from underground because he's fucking misdirected in investigation, obviously. In the boiling room, lying bastard. Well, I guess it was a boiling room. Never mind. <laughs> the door was locked, and they couldn't check inside. At the same time, Nazi's group was on its way to search for someone in the server room. They noticed something strange near the pala. The pala door. <laughs> There's another magic circle. Your daughter? Yeah, your daughter did that shit. Why? On the door of the pala, drawn in the paint that looked like blood, it was a strange, strange thing that looked like a magic circle. Ranking jutsu. Ava's group had thought the smell might be coming from the kitchen. Has returned after confirming that no one was there and that preparations for breakfast has not begun. Has yet begun. Then they noticed a the change in the parlor. Boiler is a Boiler How do you fucking lock the door behind you? You can't lock it behind you, right? Doesn't make any fucking sense. その悪趣味な落書きここにもあるの。ボイラー室の扉にもあったのよ。あ、何やって。この隙間悪い落書きがここだけじゃなく他にもあるっちゅうんか。まさか森の魔女ベアトリーチェの先生を告知わけやないや
こんな薄気味悪い落書きがここだけってことはねえかもしれねえ親父殿のおかしなゲームに巻き込まれているのかもしれんな、ね、私は親父殿のところへ行って事情を聞いてみよう OK グラス Very useful、ま、素直に話を聞いてくれるとは思えない This is the second time they were like,、uh, we're gonna go to father. And then Cross is like, oh, but I doubt he's gonna talk to me. Now he's gonna say the exact same thing. Oh, but I doubt he's gonna obediently listen to me. And this motherfucker knows something about Kinzo being already dead before this game starts. He's not saying it. Like, he, he's fucking shady as shit. I don't think anybody fucking believes the fucking word out of his mouth, dude. The adult spit up. As a result, they confirmed that the four children were safe in the so called cousin's room on the second floor of the guest house. And they had apparently stayed up late last night playing. All of them were snowing loudly, so Rosa decided not to wake them. Furthermore, Nanjo had returned early the previous night to rest, also was safe. He seemed he believed in the phrase early to bed. Early to rise and had woken refreshed. During that time, Kirie and Hideyoshi searched for the servants, but they didn't find them. The servant's room in the guest house was also empty. Kotmina, you're a cousin of Sisagin. She only is to a carapoya. 勤務表を見ても早晩は6時からってことになっとるもうお勤めをしてなきゃならんくろや仮眠室も空っぽよ布団を抜け出した跡はあるけど暖かくはなかったわこらクラウス兄さんたちの想像が当たったんとちゃうか多分お父さんの指示で仕組んだゲームなんやあの不気味な落書きを残してどこかに姿を隠してわしらに何かをさせたいに違いないや遺産や家督を誰が引き継ぐにふさわしいか確かめようっていうことですかいくらなんでもそれは This motherfucking... Okay, I mean... We're gonna, we're gonna assume Hideyoshi is being stupid Because this is the story that Beatrice is telling Battler. But if you're a fucking normal person, right? Not in the fiction fucking story. You got them trapped in a typhoon on an isolated goddamn island where all the servants are acting fucking suspicious. And this motherfucker says what? What does he say again? Let's just go back here real quick. It's probably a game? Father set up? He must have left those creepy scribbles and hid them s e l f somewhere. Are you fucking. Are you stupid, dude? How cavalier is talking and shit? Trying to make us do something. How cavalier are you gotta be? How fucking nonchalant do you have to be to not fucking get worried about this situation that you're in now? You're fucking trapped, dude. You're fucking landlocked. Your nature is fucking. Literally fucking boxing your ass in the corner. And people are missing right now. Fucking. Servants are acting suspicious right now. There's a lot of money at stake right now, right? People are willing to kill for money. Duh, right? And you're fucking. Oh, I don't sweat this shit right now. Are you fucking dumb? Are you fucking stupid? Like, come on, dude. Come on. Don't be a fucking Hideyoshi on this shit. Don't be a Hideyoshi, guys. Be smart, right? <laughs> But Kiri is saying, are you fucking dumb? Basically. お父様だったらそういうことをしてもおかしくないかもしれない何しろお父さんは大仕掛けが大好きや例の日分を大広間に掲げた時から練りに練った計画だったのかもしれへんで。Remember, Kenzo burned up last episode. He's not fucking up. Last episode, but last fucking installment of this episode. So he's not doing shit. These guys are pretending to be shit in their minds. Kenzo's fucking burned to a crisp. 
紋章入りの封筒が出てきても良さそうだけどそうねひょっとすると屋敷で兄さんたちがそれを見つけたかもしれないわね Maybe somebody else will solve our problems for us Right, Rosa? 南條先生あんた何か聞いてませんかも申し訳ありませんが私の何が何だかさっぱりですただなるほど金蔵さんが何かを企んで大仕掛けを打つことは私の容易に想像できます一度屋敷に戻らんかなんか向こうで見つけたかもしれんで I don't trust Hideyoshi. I don't trust Dr. Nanjo right now. Everybody else is cool in this scene. I don't trust these two guys on screen right now. I, I kind of forget what the, what the actual happenings happen. Like, I'll remember it and I'll piece it together as I get more clues, but right now I don't trust Nanjo. I don't trust fucking Hideyoshi. Not sure who the real culprit is yet. I have an idea. And my idea supports these two being in collusion with the,、uh, the actual culprit here. I think Rose is innocent here. Rose is、uh, Teflon in this episode. I think Rose is innocent here. I think Rose is innocent here. I think Rose is i n n o c e n t 私もローザさんとここで留守番してるわ。Hmm. Curie, the jury is out in her. She doesn't act too sus. But that was a sus thing to do. Oh, I'm gonna stay with Rosa now. Like, that Rosa volunteered to stay behind and watch over the kids. Why would she do that? Right? うちの人にそう伝えていただけませんか、hmm. And by extension, you can't trust her husband now. If Curie is sus, then her husband's sus. Right. Your team. Rosa and Kyrie remained in the guest house. Hideo, she went to Nanjo and returned again to the mansion. Well, at the same time in the mansion, in a way that was hard to believe, or maybe we should say it. Okay, this is not Rosa talking. I'm sorry. Is this Hideyoshi? You know, that was hard to believe. Ho, ho, ho. Or maybe we should say, in a way, that gave him a bad feeling. Like he was a naughty, naughty boy. Rudolph's prediction was spot on. The same magic circle graffiti that had been drawn on the doors of the bowling group, the bowling room, and the car left. It was found in multiple places throughout the mansion. Thank you. Yeah, he never talks to him. We knew that, right? Did, did you guys know that? I think you did. This guy's fucking full of shit right here. This guy's so full of shit, his fucking eyes are brown. Like, literally. Because he probably is dead. dead ass. Ass. You know it. You know it. Oh, I could have put my ear to the fucking door and I couldn't hear shit, Ooh, so I gave up. Fucking dickless wonder here. Remember, Krauss is dickless. Kinzel's the dick. Krauss is dickless. Jordan,じゃないわ!お父様も使用にも姿を消し,屋敷中のあちこちにおかしな魔法人だらけ! I mean, she's not half wrong. Even though she sounds hysterical. Not half wrong. There weren't only magic circles on the door to the boiler room and the door to the parlor. There were those two on the second floor, and one on the third floor, and a total of five magic circles. They were all in the same magic circle. All the doors had been locked. They couldn't check inside the rooms. And they didn't want to burst down the door either. Because they were rich. 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 They
火事になったりとか爆発したりとかしたら大変だ隣鍵だな使用人室にキーボックスがあったはずです They're not servers, they don't know what the fuck that means. No, I guess not to you, that's what he's a, he's the leader of the servants, I guess. Alright. Yoku mo kore dake g i s h i r i to kagi ga aru mono da yo. Nai wa? Nan to saga shite mo, boy rai shite no kagi ga mitskara nai wa? You gotta break down the fucking door, idiot. What are you doing? Niro yo, aneki. Oh, ほんとですねこれは困りましたまるで魔法人の部屋に入ってほしくないかのようねいいえわざわざ魔法人でアピールしてるんだから入ってほしいのかしら俺は校舎だと思うぜ They're one of those magic circles. Just to fucking trap you guys in psychological horror. That shit doesn't work, man. You know that's fucking tissue paper. For much it's worth. Fucking wipe your ass with that shit. They ain't doing shit. Smash that fucking window. For a while, Kraus wondered whether, over whether the situation really caused the smashing window or smashing the walls. At that time, Hideyoshi and Nanjo returned. There was nothing strange in the guest house, and the children were asleep. They told the others that Rosa and Kyrie stayed to watch over the police. Or they just both killed them. I mean, you can't really tell. If you trust those two guys, you can kind of like trust that the other two are real life, but who knows? Who fucking knows? Oh, yeah, I guess it's just like that. 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 What? I'm sorry. Did you find the tag of the tag? わしはてっきりそういうのが見つかったとばかり思っとったんやそうね私もこれはお父様の壮大な冗談か何かのゲームだと信じてるでもそうなら必ずそれを伝える手紙があるはずよねマリアちゃんに手紙を与えたようにゲーム開始宣言はまさにあのマリアちゃんの手紙だったのかもしれねえぜ。気分の謎を解いてみろと、すでにゲームの内容は示されてるさ。なら、屋敷から5つも見つかった魔法人には、どんな意味があるというのかも。姿の見えない使用人もだ。使用人って今日は全部で何人いたかしらえ現地に合田に5人ですが何か使用人が5人魔法師も5つか偶然だろうが気になるな兄さん窓を破りましょう。中を確認するべきだわ仕方ないな綺麗に頼むよクラスメイディスディシジンでゲイプミッションとスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンスマッシュウィンドウワンス
the wandered around the garden trying to find something that would be good for smashing the window. Eventually he found a rock bigger than the fist that came back. Ito said to that. Exactly. Rudolph raised the rock and hit the glass in it several times. Pop. Eventually, he succeeded in opening a hole big enough that he could unlock it from the outside. Covering his hand with a handkerchief, he stuck his hand through that hole and cautiously unlocked it. He suddenly opened the window, the wind and the rain made the curtain dance around violently. The curtain was blown to the side. They could see the parlor they knew very well. Knew it very well. They were a little relieved. They thought there might be another bizarre magic circle inside the room, or possibly traces of some creepy ceremony. Did they look inside the room? They did not see what the hell is in there? So something's gonna happen here real quick. If, uh, until that happens, we're not gonna end the stream, but after that happens, I do have to go, guys. I know I've got this one short today, but uh, unfortunately, gotta work. So, uh, I don't get any days off, so... <laughs> Like working like 11 days in a row here. Coming on at uh, 70 hours last week. This week I'll have. I don't even know. It depends on how many, how many days I'm gonna do double shifts. Pretty much. But no days off. No matter what. I stream when I can. So I want to do at least one stream this week. So this is it. And uh, who knows whichever week the next stream will be. Uh, I'll try to let you know. Chances are it's going to be another random day, so look forward to that. All my friends in Poland who are up right now, and uh, I think it's like what, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock there in Poland right now. What's up? Good afternoon. Uh, catch out my YouTube series. My links are down below so check that shit out oh, oh. you saw it <laughs> check that shit out like like subscribe follow we're gonna keep going like i said until uh something happens something shot So the six of them, Kraus, Natsui, Eva, Hideyoshi, Rudolph, and Nanjo entered the parlor as a group. So we got the six people who are not, uh, you can't say all six of these people are fucking compromised. Because there will be no reason for all six of these to have the same motive, at least, to either be accomplices of Beatrice or to be murderers for Beatrice uh, because they all have their own agendas basically these are the uh, Usher Mia kids unlike the servants who would all probably have the same goddamn motive oh we don't want to be furniture anymore so let's do something so that we can be quote unquote human uh, that's all the servants fucking motive pretty much all these user me kids have their own their own motivations. They want their own things out of life. They have the freedom to think outside the box. They're not furniture, you know, so you know, they don't they're all locked in for life. Under one fucking uh, assumption for their own life. So when they have all the sixty people plus Nanjo, you know, walking around looking at shit, you can you can kinda like Take it face value that whatever they see is fucking reality. It's not a fucking trick. You're not gonna be able to fool all six of these people at once. So even though Battler's not in this group, I'm gonna say that uh, whatever they see is kind of the truth. Not a fucking illusion. Alright? This 
want to point that out. Let's keep going. <clears throat> What happened? So we're confirming that all the fucking adults are seeing Shannon right now. Just, you know, keep that in mind. Jen is really dead here. We got uh, Nanjo over here, who may or may not be accomplished, you know. Let's go and check the body. She had been in the, the shadow of a sofa, so they hadn't noticed her until they entered the room. Shannon was lying on the floor, her chest stained bright red blood. This is where uh, Genji, you know, gave her quote unquote the touch. Killed her fucking gently. Oi! Battle! Doko de? Tora, Tora. Shannon no shitai mo dete kite zu. Oh, izime ne kara dete koi yo. Oh, ita ita. Onna tokoro de atama kakaete nani shite nda yo. Battle. Mantha was crouching on the table holding his head. His pitiful figure made it plainly clear he didn't want to see anything, didn't want to hear anything. Had he heard Beatrice's sneering voice, could he not hear or was he pretending that he couldn't hear? In any event, it was clear that he closed up his heart like a shell. That's not how you win, Skullin, this game, dog. <laughs> あれだけのものを見せつけて反論を迫っては草木込みたくなる気持ちもわかるというものです。なあバトラー、反論がないならリザインを頼むぜ。お前の手番なんだ。何かさっさとかパスとものが交換するとかしてくれねえと話が前に
Alright. So, uh... I think we, um... Officially... At least found Shannon's corpse, right? Let's see. We didn't, okay. Okay, they're all still alive. Well, that's gonna be the end of the stream, though. I'm, I'm out of time here, guys. Uh, I wanted to at least see what the shit was gonna look like when we killed the people off, but uh, we've only found Shannon's body so far. I guess we gotta find all fucking other people's bodies for this shit to update. Right now, it's not. So, uh, we're still in the nation state here. As soon as I can get back online, we're gonna finish finish out as much as we can in episode 30. This is a short stream, but uh, short but sweet, right? So, uh, thanks for sticking around if you're lurking. Guys, check out my fucking YouTube videos. Uh, Virgil Valentino. Two words. On YouTube. Um, I'm on Twitter. Virgil Valentino. One word. On Twitter. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this installment of Umaneko Nanlaku Koroni Episode 3. We'll be back ASAP with more of this. In the meantime, and in the between time, y'all, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Talk soon.